try. Well, Honjo, we're uh, here for your retirement. Uh, it was an easy decision? Um, no, it was actually pretty tough. Um, um, thinking about it pretty much most of the year, um, but spending the week off to really think about it and uh, thought it was good timing. Um, it's a great opportunity to go off on my own accord uh, and own terms there. So looking forward to those last two games and, and finishing on a big note. Is it good that uh, the Force has managed to get through the season when at one stage we didn't even know if there would be a final season? Uh, yeah, it's um, been probably the toughest year in rugby I've dealt with. Um, so a lot of the off-field stuff has um, overshadowed what we're doing on the field. So it's been disappointing. But um, like I said, if we didn't have such a strong group here, I think things would have splintered. Um, so that's a, a big effort from the boys. So looking forward to finishing off the season and my career at home. What was it like telling the guys yesterday? Um, pretty hard. Um, telling them that the end, end for me is, um, is coming to a near, but the, the best thing about it and, and why I've done it this way is that the focus has been on rugby at the start of the year, but the last two games we can really enjoy it and just go out there and enjoy playing together for one or two last times. And what was the reaction of, of the guys? Um, I think I've been around long enough. I think originally a bit of shock, but they understand the decision. and. I think they're going to enjoy the last two two games. It gives us something to play for. Two big games for us against Melbourne and the Tars. And injury-wise, you're 100% play those last two games? Uh, yes, so we start running today. Um, so I tore my tar um, calf in that Hurricanes game. So we're pushing hard for that Melbourne um, game. But uh, Waratahs are definite, even if I play on one leg. <laughs> yeah. And when people think of Matt Hodgson, they think the heart and soul of the Western Force. What do you think when you, you hear that? Well, I'm, I'm just one cog in the wheel. Um, I, I wouldn't do what I do if I didn't love it and love the people around me. So I'm, I'm just lucky enough and fortunate enough to be around for so long. I think that's why they probably say that. Um, but yeah, I'm just one cog in the wheel. I think it wouldn't all work if we didn't have everyone doing their part.